Hello, my name's John Hall and I'm one of the product managers here at SciMed and I'm going to be talking to you about a quick and easy way of determining fat, oil and grease in wastewater samples. Now this has become a greater problem in increasing years. So if you're a food producer, you work with dairy products or you're making ready meals or maybe you use fat, oils and greases of raw materials such as in the cosmetics industry or you're a waste company and you need to characterise the waste before you dispose of it, then you'll need to be able to characterise how much fat, oil and grease is in your samples. Historically, this has been a slow and laborious method, but I'm going to show you a quick and easy way of doing it this afternoon. In my measuring cylinder here, I have 100 mils of the sample I want to test. And to that, I'm going to add 10 mils of hexane. I need to give it a shake for maybe 10 or 15 seconds. And what happens during this part of the process is that all the fat, oil and grease in the water sample is absorbed into the hexane layer. And you'll see now that, that sample is separating out and the hexane layer on the top contains all the fat, oil and grease that I want to quantify. I take 60 microliters of that sample into my syringe and present it onto the InfraCal analyzer. Now, all of the hexane will evaporate from the top of the stage, leaving only the fat, oil and grease behind. After about a four or five minute wait, the instrument will display the result. So the evaporation part of the process is finished, and now the analyzer is quantifying how much fat, oil and grease is in the sample, and in a moment this will be displayed on the screen. So there we go, 7.8 ppm in my sample here. A quick and easy way of determining how much fat, oil and grease is in your sample. So if you'd like any more details, please contact us at SciMed. You can find us at www.scimed.co.uk.